The story of the first confirmed interstellar comet, Comet C 2019-Q4, or now designated to I Borisov, continues to develop. Unlike Oumuamua, which was caught on its way out of the solar system, leaving not much time for study, Borisov is on its way in, and the observations are well underway already, with more planned for its closest pass to the Sun on December 8th, where it will pass between the asteroid belt and Mars. The first paper that's come to light recently is an observation of the surface chemical composition of the object, done by scientists at the Gran Telescopio Canarias in mid-September, links to all mentioned papers below, a low-resolution preliminary spectrum of the comet was obtained. This showed that the object was surprisingly similar in surface composition to solar system comets. As more detailed spectra are taken, we'll get a more detailed description of the surface chemistry of the comet, but at first glance, it looks more or less something like you'd find in our outer solar system. It's also been determined that the object is similar in age, coming in at about 4.6 billion years old, perhaps only a little older than our star system. The similarities were bolstered in another paper by Alan Fitzsimmons and colleagues, where they detailed the detection of cyanide gas coming off the comet, which is not unusual for regular solar system comets. In fact, Halley's Comet exhibited it. All of this suggests that the process for forming comets is likely to be very similar in star systems across the galaxy. This is not surprising. Natural processes generally can be expected to happen in a similar way all over the universe but there's probably still room for surprises regarding the composition of this object. The other development is more tentative, but still interesting. Borisov's trajectory is not perfectly zeroed in yet, and there may be minor changes to that as it's studied more in depth, and it could change this part of the story, but there is now a tentative candidate system for the origin of the object. This is usually very iffy stuff. It's basically working the object's trajectory backwards, and it's like trying to reconstruct a game of pool. At some point, it becomes impossible. But in this case, the researchers, linked to the paper below, seem to have compelling evidence that the object did not merely pass through that system, but rather originated from that star system. Known as Kruger 60, the star system in question is a binary system, and it lies just over 13 light years from Earth. The system consists of a pair of red dwarfs, a situation which could certainly kick material out of the system. Oddly, if Borisov did come to us from that star system, it's not the only thing that's coming our way from it. The star system itself is expected to have a close encounter with the Sun in about 88 million years, where they will pass just under two parsecs from us. If humans are still around and had continued to advance, it's easy to imagine that we'll be that far out in space exploration by that time, and may well visit, or even colonize, Kruger 60. As far as Borisov, we should get an unprecedented detailed look at this object, and it seems like the scientific community will try to make the most of it. For example, Hubble Space Telescope imaging of the object begins on October 8th, when it moves out of the sun's glare enough for the HST to observe it safely. This should give both detailed views of the comet, but also allow scientists to constrain the size and shape of the comet as well as details on the evolution of the outgassing as the comet passes its closest point. After that, the object should be observable until about September of 2020. Unfortunately, even though Borisov was discovered by an amateur astronomer, it will likely never get bright enough to be observable with the naked eye, but should be visible in at least larger amateur telescopes. And many of those folks will likely be photographing the object but it does bolster the idea that we are bombarded by interstellar objects regularly, and we only just now have the equipment to discover them. But the study of these objects will open up a new window into the Milky Way and its star systems, even to the point of visiting these representatives of them as newer, more powerful rockets come online. Imagine being the first person to set foot on an object from another star system. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently informing the listenership that I will not be the first person setting foot on an interstellar object. I am needed here on Earth for such things as helping make sure the world's coffee supply doesn't get out of hand, along with management of the granola bar population and thinning the pastry herd. And there's my involvement with the utterly fruitless attempt at spray can nacho cheese eradication. It truly is a labor of love, and be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailers and subscribe to my channels for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.